When I thought about what could I do with a math degree, I thought I could become a math teacher. That was what most people did. Or I also was looking into taking the actuarial exams in order to become an actuary or maybe an accountant or something like that. And I wanted to do something more hands-on and had real applications. In my freshman year of college, I took a linear algebra course. That was probably the first time that someone really said like, hey, you should look into doing math. And so I went to grad school for applied math at UCLA. And that was where I started really seeing applications that really interested me, in particular doing uh, computational physics. I'm a senior software engineer at Walt Disney Animation Studios. I actually started out as an intern working with the same people that I work with now to do hair simulation, and they were looking at trying to find new ways to do hair simulation for Tangled, which has Rapunzel as the main character, so she has like the super long hair, so they're looking at new ways to do that. So that's probably how I really got started working in the industry, and it really helps to have internships to get your foot in the door. My primary responsibility is to maintain and develop the cloth and hair software simulation tools. The clothes and the hair are both simulated using physics. What that means is we're using physical laws like force equals mass times acceleration in order to determine how the clothes and the hair move. Always the continuing challenge in physical simulation for computer graphics is having things look more real, but also having things be more art directable. So with the film Frozen, a lot of it's set outdoors in a really wintry, windy environment, and that's actually a, an important part of the story also. So we wanted to have the way that the clothes and the hair moved and the wind to look really realistic. The way I approached the problem was trying to come up with, what if we just try using a more physically accurate model for the cloth-wind interactions? The model that we were using was a, a pretty simple model. It was a linear relationship between the speed of the wind and the forces. And that's actually the way you would model the way clothes would move through something like water, so a really viscous fluid. So when we looked at the simulations, everything looked really damped out and kind of slow. But then I looked into how, what are the forces for the way uh, lift and drag work actually in wind. And it turned out that it had a different equation. I found like the more general equation for that and then was able to apply it specifically to the, our cloth and our hair models. Immediately when we were doing tests, the artists were really excited about that. They don't have to spend a lot of time just trying to get it so that the cape is fluttering through the wind the way they wanted it to. Now that just happens automatically and they can worry more about the artistic performance of the character. In 2014, Frozen won the award for Best Animated Picture. It was a really amazing moment in my life. Growing up, I, I really enjoyed films, but I never really saw myself working in film. I didn't see how math could really go into making a movie. Now I see there's actually a lot of math that goes into it, mostly because a lot of things in movies are done using computers. You know, as far as we've come along in computer graphics for the hair and the clothes, there's still a lot of room for improvement. And there's a lot of techniques. I think we're going to be looking to math to be able to do a lot more of those things because we want it to look more real and that's more physics, which is more math. <laughs>